Hey everyone, so today we're going to be creating a witch hunt game, which is basically just, uh, you control a player, and then that player has to hunt a witch that pops onto the screen, and how you control the player is that you move the player with the arrow keys, and the witch is going to disappear and reappear at random places um, on the screen every few seconds. So, uh, witch hunt game. So this is going to be a two-part series. Um, in the first part, we're going to be um, creating movement. So you can see here, this is the arrow, which is basically a character inside of this box or barrier. And then we want to be able to move the player, as I am now, in the box. However, you can see that the player is able to go outside the box and even outside the window. So that's going to be in part two when we actual, actually create the boundaries. So, the first thing we want to do, we're going to be creating this in turtle. So again, we want to import the turtle module with import turtle. Um, now we can set up the screen. Set up screen. You saw that uh, there popped up the window. So we could set the width of the window to 600 pixels and the height of the window to 500 pixels. Let's create a variable called s is equal to the turtle.screen screen and then we want to set up the width and the height with s so that's the variable that shows the screen and then we can set up the width and the height with that so now we can set the background color let's set it to like light green you could change the background color to like red dark green light blue something like that if you want i'm gonna leave it at light green and then we can have the title set to which hunt so let me run this or oh, actually let me save it first um, we can create we can name this which which hunt two because i need one let's run this um, yeah. and up pops a pop-up window you see at the top left it says witch hunt that's the title we gave it right here and the background color is a light green color and the width is 600 pixels the height is 500 pixels so what we could do now is draw the border draw border. Uh, we want to create a border that the player is able to see and move the arrow within this will also be the uh, barrier for the witch so the witch cannot exit out of the border so we want to create a turtle turtle is e t is equal to turtle dot turtle um you can set the speed to zero so whenever we move the turtle it's going to get there instantly this is basically the fastest speed and then let's raise it so when we move the turtle it, it's not going to draw anything if the pen of the turtle is up this is just like the pen then it's not going to draw anything let's set the position of t to negative 200 negative 200 put the pen down so then from now on we could start drawing and then let's set the pen size to three now let's just run this to see where our pen is so our pen is at negative 200 200 uh this is where it is it's showing up and we want to basically create a boundary so you saw it was at the bottom left in order to create a square boundary we can use a for loop so first we want to move the um the pen forward by let's say 400 pixels and then after it reaches that 400 pixels, we want to turn it left by 90 degrees. This is a right angle. And we want to do this four times. So in a for loop, for side, in a range, for everything inside is going to uh, run four times. So let's run this and see where it ends up. All right. So you see how the width is the width is of three that's the size of the line 
and it drew the it drew each wall. Now what we could do now is we don't want it to show anymore, so we're gonna hide the turtle. So if we run this again at the end, the little arrow for the uh, pen should have disappeared, which it did. That's what hide turtle does. Now we could um, create player. So at the beginning of this video, you saw that I was moving around an arrow. So that's what we're going to create right now. So player is equal to turtle. We can we could uh, change the player color to blue. That's just what I'm going to change it to. There are of course other colors, red, whatever. Change the color to blue. We could change the shape actually. So instead of like that uh, arrow, we could change it to. Or I'm going to change it to a triangle. And if we change the shape to a triangle, if we run this, you can see that it is an equilateral triangle. So that's basically the default. Uh, it's going to be an equilateral triangle. Of course, if we leave it as the equilateral triangle, it's going to be hard to distinguish which part is going to be the front. So what we could do is set the player shape size. We could stretch the width to 1 and stretch the length to 1.5. So the ratio between the width and length is going to be 1 to 1.5. So with this change, stretch length is equal to 1.5. Now you can easily see that this right section, that's going to be the front of our arrow. The, basically the top. And what, when we want to move the player let's raise the player up now what we could do is when we want the player to move we want to set a speed for the player so we can have a speed is equal to one so this is going to move one pixel every uh time so this is going to be the speed and we want the player to constantly move so while true we can use a while loop for this to happen so Every single time the while loop runs, everything inside is going to keep running also. Player.forward speed. So while this while loop is running, the player is going to move forward at a speed of 1. So if we run this, we can see that in action. Yep, you see it moving forward. However, I don't have any control over the player. And you notice it goes out of screens and out of, and out of bounds. So let's set the... Uh, movement so that I can actually control the player. Um, now now what we could do is set a function, create a function for each type of movement. But functions have to be put before you actually use it. So we can set it at the top just for readability. So define turn left. So this is a function you basically define a function with def, the name of the function, parentheses, and then what we want to do is play dot left 30 degrees. Uh, dot left basically changes the angle at which the player is facing. So we want to turn the player's angle left 30 degrees. We could do the same thing, but instead turn right, and then player dot right 30 degrees. This is just going to turn the player's direction to the right by 30 degrees. And we also want to be able to change the speed. If we have the speed the same the whole time, that might be some that might be kind of boring. So define speed up. We want to speed up the player. And then let's set the uh, we could change the speed to global variable. This way we can access the variable speed from within the function. And then speed is equal to the previous speed value plus 0.1.
So this is just going to increase the speed by 0.1 pixels. And then also we want to define speed down or actually slow down. Again, we want to call speed as a global variable, which means that you know even if it's inside the function, uh, we can uh, call and change the variable. And then speed is equal to speed minus 0.1. So the previous speed value, but 0.1 pixels less than that. So let's now we can set the uh, keyboard binding. What this does is that it takes input from our keyboard and then whatever input it receives, it does an action. So set keyboard binding turtle.listen. This is just going to listen or receive information from the keyboard. In this case, it can receive anything, but we're going to be using um, the arrow keys for this project. Turtle.onKey turn left. This is the function we created up here, the turn left function. So, and then as the first parameter, the second parameter is going to be the left arrow key. So this left determines which arrow key we're using. So on your keyboard, if you press the left arrow key, this function is going to run. And then turtle dot on key turn right with right arrow key turtle dot on key speed up up arrow key Slow down, down arrow key. So if we run this, you see that the player is moving forward, but now when I press the left arrow key, it is changing the angle at which is facing to left 30 degrees. If I click the right arrow key, it will also uh, change 30 degrees to the right. I could speed it up by pressing up, and you see it's moving a lot faster. I can also slow it down. Let me change. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. And now it's slower. So in the next part, we'll be creating a wish. Uh, we'll be spawning it at a random place inside of this box. And then with this arrow, we're basically trying to catch the wish. Like like this and then we're also creating a scoreboard in our next part to see our score so so that's basically it for this part where we basically just created movement for the um, character and also set a visible boundary but it's not physical yet we don't actually bounce off of it yet so in the next part we'll be doing uh, physical boundary all of that. So I'll see you guys in the next part.